course the vacuum detection system what we have is we have a little proximity sensor right here which will see the edge of the cap as it passes by and then this larger proximity sensors, sensor is actually going to give us a measurement if you will that we can bring into the PLC and evaluate so on the screen we have our main screen when we go to the vacuum detect screen we're going to see that we have uh, a value, current analog value, it will show us when the cap goes through. Here's the threshold that we can enter in and actually enter in the threshold. Right now we have it set for 2000. We're seeing that jars that have uh, a, uh, a good button are typically above 2500 and jars that are bad are typically at or around 1000. So it's quite a bit of difference between the two. So then, once it uh, evaluates that, if it decides to reject it, what it will do is it will establish the count, which is a distance, and it will track that container all the way down to the reject cylinder, which will push it off into the tray. Now we can have up to five containers, if you will, in between the evaluation and the reject at any moment. Okay, what we're going to do first is we're going to send a good one through, and you'll see the flicker the proximity sensor uh, with the container going through. There's a little flicker on the back of it. You see nothing happens. But now, we've got one here. Let me see the top of it. The button has popped out. And so we know it's a bad container, so we're going to send it through. And it gets pushed off. Okay? Now, uh, let's look at the value of that one. See, that one was 864 versus the threshold of 2,000, so quite a bit of difference. Send the good one through again, and then we'll see what the value of it is. The value of it is 2,400. So you see quite a bit of difference between the good and Now here it is in the middle. take one that is good and we're going to show that it's good and uh, yeah and we're going to go ahead and unpop it and then when we send it through it should reject because now the vacuum has been lost inside the container like you can see there's the value that it actually registered 1200 